Well, hi guys. Um, I'm just going to do this little video here. I have got my brand new GDX 1080s sitting here. I'm going to put them back in my two computers so far. I've got three, obviously, but I've only got two cards at the moment. So um, I'm just going to do a little video showing you the installation. So um, this baby, this is the um, this is the main computer. So it's a 3960X. So uh, uh, it's a top end sabre tooth board uh, running a 1250 watt power supply, uh, 32 gig of RAM, um, a H100, I think it is, um, cooler. So it's a top end piece of gear, all um, SSDs in it, and all, all the go. So, anyway, I'll put the um, cards in and we'll see what it looks like. Well, that was fairly quick and painless, however, um, I couldn't. I couldn't actually get it in the uh, PCI slot and then I realised, pulled it back out, realised that of course the card has one of these little protective covers on the gold finger, so idiot brain here removed it and then it just fell in. So um, nice thing is, one single 8 pin connector <coughs> which runs all three of those beautiful fans in there. So um, now I'm going to put the cover on it and Put the next one in and then we'll boot them up and see how we go. <coughs> so this is my second system. Um, uh, it's the second computer called Dewey. And uh, it's a Skylake system running uh, on a um, top end Asus um, board. Can't remember the name of it now. Um, another cooler there. There's the CPU. Running uh, 16, 16 gig of RAM on these, that's right, fast RAM. So um, I'll throw the card in this and see how it goes in. Well again, screamingly easy to put this thing in. Um, beautiful card, fits straight in. Uh, it's no bigger than the GDX 980s which were in here. And um, now it's just a matter of uh, putting the cover on, plug it in and away we go. I've got a... 700 watt silver stones in these two secondary computers so um all right now it's the moment of truth let's see how they just one more thing before we go these are actually um the gigabyte g1 gaming uh gdx 1080s they're not the founders edition uh cards so they're slightly overclocked and of course you can tell that Tell they're not the founders editions because they've actually got the three fans on them here. So uh, as I say, we'll see how they go. Okay, so Huey and Dewey are back in, ready to go, all hooked up. So just got to turn the power on and let's try it out. So we'll turn the big master switch on. And they've both booted into life. So we better have some... Um, graphics up here mm -hmm. turn some lights off and see what happens yeah, I must admit they're very quiet Actually, it's pretty quiet because I don't think this one's running yet. Oh, that's strange. Okay, well, we've got Huey up and running. Dewey's doing something screwy. Maybe I'll turn the power off. No. Nope. Alright, we've got a problem there with Dewey, so I'm going to have to work that one out, but so far Huey looks good. I'm going to go through and just um, do a start up with him to start with. Um, the only problem I have with this whole process here is um, I don't really have a frame of reference, so other than flying in the sim, so I can tell just by, you know, booting it up and running it, obviously. 
I'll be able to tell what it's like there. But other than that, there's nothing. I don't have any frame rates to go by or anything like that. So I'm just going to have to play it by ear. Alright, I'll close this down and then we're going to go to another little video after it. Okay, so um, I've just booted her up, um, set up a brand new Windows driver for Windows 10. Um, this view is not warped at the moment, so I'm just running a standard view, so it should have a little, little bit of a curve in it normally. So, what I've got is Sydney, which is the highest, um, highest of all the frame heavy airports that I've got. And I'm going to go through now and just change some of the... Actually, I won't. I'll just do a... Um... Oops. What I'm going to do... Oh, no, I've killed the sound now. Damn it. I've killed the application now. Cross the mighty. stop this for a okay minute. just a quick and dirty flight I haven't got anything set up here but already I can notice massive differences with the um, with the graphics holy smokes you know like um, before and and I also have a oh, I'm going to crash this in a second um, I also have a weather oh, hang on a second I also have a weather setting running here which is the Orbix number two it's so difficult to run this without any as you can see there um, you know the 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 actual graphical content there is absolutely massive uh, I don't know what I've got my oops I was just about to say I don't know what I've got my slider set to it's obviously very high um, so you can see that you know, there's a massive improvement, and um, this is this is still uh, P3D V3.2. I don't have my 3.3 added to this machine yet, so I am just absolutely blown away by that. I mean, I've never had that in the sim before. That level, that immense level of detail. So the 1080, especially this 1080, um, has been an absolute boom for the cockpit. So I'm now going to work on getting that second and third PC up and running and all set up. But isn't that absolutely magnificent? We're just out of Brisbane, by the way. Uh, we're just over the, um, oh, I don't know where we are. Probably around Jacob's Well somewhere. But you can see there's a slight um, concavity about the screen. But that's because I don't have the... Um, the uh, software running in the background that fixes that up but anyway uh, initial testing look at that amazing isn't it uh, initial testing says yes um, absolutely marvelous um, difference between um, the 980 and the 1080 especially for the cockpits absolutely brilliant 